Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix no audio device is installed or no output device found error in Windows. Before we dive into the solutions, let's understand what the no audio device is installed or no output device error means. This error typically occurs when your computer fails to recognize or properly configure the audio device resulting in no sound output. It can be caused by various factors such as outdated or missing drivers, hardware conflicts or incorrect audio settings. It can be frustrating when you are unable to hear any sound from your computer. But don't worry, we have got you covered. We will guide you through the steps to fix this issue and restore audio functionality on your Windows system. So let's get started. The first step is to check the physical conditions of your audio devices. Ensure that your speakers or headphones are properly connected to the correct audio ports on your computer. Sometimes loose or faulty connections can lead to the error. Try unplugging or reconnecting the audio cables to ensure a secure connection. Next, try restarting your computer. It may sound simple. But a restart can sometimes resolve temporarily glitches and refresh the audio system. Give it a try and see if the error persists after the restart. If the previous steps did not fix the problem, Windows has a built-in audio troubleshooter that can help. Go to Windows search bar, type troubleshooter settings and open it. Scroll down to the Find and Fix Other Problems section and select Audio. Follow the on-screen instructions to run the troubleshooter. It will scan for audio issues and attempt to fix them. If you are lucky, then this simple method may solve your problem. Outdated or incompatible audio drivers can often cause no audio devices installed or no output device found error. To fix this, we will need to update the audio drivers. Open the device manager by right click on the Windows start button and select device manager. Look for the sound, video and game controller section and expand it. After that, locate your audio device. Right click on it and select update driver. Choose the option to search automatically for updated driver software. Windows will then search for the latest audio drivers and install them if available. If updating the drivers did not resolve the issue, we can try reinstalling them in device manager. Right click on the audio device. Select uninstall device and confirm uninstallation. Afterward, restart your computer and Windows will automatically reinstall the audio drivers. Or go to your device manufacturer website and download the latest audio driver from the driver and software download section under support.
Okay, once you have downloaded, launch the audio driver setup.executable file to install the latest audio driver. After that, reboot once and check if the error is resolved. Sometimes, the audio services on the computer may be stopped or disabled, causing error. To check and restart the audio services, press Windows plus R key combination to open Run dialog box. Type services.msc and press Enter. In the services window, locate the Windows Audio and Windows Audio Endpoint Builder services. Make sure they are set to running and automatic. If not, right click on the each services, select properties, set the startup type to automatic and click on apply and then click on start to initiate the services. After that, reboot once and check if the error is resolved. Restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key on the keyboard. Next, go to System Configuration tab or Main tab and find Audio Settings. If your system's BIOS has this feature, then just enable the audio devices from there. Now press F10 key on the keyboard or go to Exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS. If you are lucky, then this simple method may solve your problem. If not still solved your problem, then at this point, it's worth checking for any hardware related problems with your audio devices. Ensure that your speakers or headphones are functioning correctly by testing them. Also you can try connecting different audio devices to your computer to see if the issue is specific to one device. If possible, test your audio device on another computer to determine if it is the cause of the problem. I hope one of these solutions resolved your problem. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.